So a few people on the Patreon page have asked for an update on the YXZ. Everyone thinks I killed it the last time I sunk it, but I did it, and I'll give you an update in this video. It's working great. Um, people also asked for an update on the DJI Maverick Mini, the OG Mini, um, the drone I crashed in the ocean last week. It's kind of working, but I'll give you an update on that too. And then um, also there's some random footage at the end from a dash cam of the Lexus at Holopal. Took it out on Saturday or Sunday, and it did really well. Um, V8 power. Um, but yeah, a couple other updates in here. I'm looking at getting the new ZR2, um, crazy torque out of that four cylinder in a small truck. And I really just kind of, kind of still shopping for an R Max. And I want a new ATV, but there's nothing new exciting coming out for 2023, unfortunately. So not sure what I'm going to do there. YXZ is running good. It's been swamped twice. Um, the drone's been swamped three times. And the The mighty YXZ left some rubber in the garage. Look at that. It spun the tires all the way out here. Hell yeah. Pretty good. I better fix them rocks. There, that's checked. Running pretty good. That is a tough machine. Well, I don't know about tough machine. That's a very tough motor. I mean, it just ripped. It landed in salt water about a week ago. A week ago, so we're gonna try it out and see see what's what. 
The gimbal doesn't seem to be working quite right. See how it's not super stabilized? Ooh, and I can't aim the gimbal up and down anymore. So this thing's been crashed hard three times in water. So it's a miracle that it works at all. Let's see if I can figure out what's going on with this gimbal. And this last time was in salt water, which was a first for it. Huh. Grab it, and if you grab it and you flip it right upside down, it'll kill the motors, I think. Yeah, check that out. All right, cool. Um, so we got the drone back. Failed take take off failed restart aircraft DJI fly, huh? And now I've got the gimbal stuck error again, so it's not happy. Time to retire this thing. I guess it's impressive that it flew at all, uh, considering how much water it's been in. But yeah, doesn't seem to be useful at this point. I'll look up these error codes, but I don't think there's going to be an easy fix. Um, these drones are so cheap, generally just disposable. Just replace them. All right, we went for a little Sunday afternoon stroll at Holopaw. It was really empty, uh, which was great. A um, little dry, uh, pretty dusty. The sugar sand was kind of bad. You can see that my back shocks are still too bouncy. Um, haven't decided which ones I'm going to order to replace these Skyjackers yet, but probably probably either the Bilstein to the Fox. The Bilsteins don't have as much down travel, um, and the Fox are really expensive, but I'm still kind of looking around. That right there shows you why you need a rear tube bumper. Um, bumper barely dragged the ground. If that thing was stock bumper, it would have ripped the bumper off. So it makes that thing a lot more capable when you put a tube bumper and trim the plastics that hang down real far. Don't get too close behind this V8. I'll spray you. No. Um, this is a pretty nasty hole. I hit it at an angle because I didn't know how deep it was. And it got a little cross rutted, but I eventually got out of it using the V8 motor. This thing really needs a front locker, though. Um, the a track isn't good enough for the, the kind of power it has. But I do think the V8 helps it get through some stuff because it can just clean the tires out immediately as soon as you blip the throttle, whereas uh, some other Toyotas are a little less powerful. So here I was flexing it out, kind of trying to get it stuck, and um, I was trying to make it teeter. I finally got it to teeter, and then one of the front wheels started to not spin, and it got high centered and had to get pulled out. This is kind of funny right here, though. It's just teetering, and then just give it the beans. Pretty capable for pretty much bone stock, you know, three-row grocery getter. And here's where I get the teeter real nice. I was trying to just really max it out, um, checking out my bump stops in the rear and stuff. That's what I was going for. That's hard to do in sand if you don't have a front locker because it usually wants to crab walk sideways, kind of like what happens right here. And then I get high centered on the back axle. If I had a locker, I'd have got out of this. But yeah, you can see how high centered it is. It's just sitting there idling. And uh, three wheels are spinning because I got a locker in the rear and then nothing in the front. But I do have the center diff lock. But it, came, it was easily pulled off. It was just barely stuck. Good stuff.